Yo, what's good guys welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to connect your gaming laptop to your gaming monitor so yeah without further ado let's get right into it all right i'm sorry if the mic quality is on my phone is bad but it is what it is this monitor right here is connected to my pc so i can record my face and everything else that's going on and this laptop and this monitor is going to be what we're using for the video this obs is just a screen cap when i'm showing you guys on screen so First things first, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna identify what port your laptop has. There are four different, well, technically five, but four different style ports. Right here is an example of two of them. This is USB type C, not Thunderbolt 3. If it was Thunderbolt 3, you'd have a lightning right there. And if it had a lightning, you would be able to use it to connect to displays. But we have an HDMI. And so this is HDMI, this is one of the four. This is type C. Thunderbolt 3 and 4 will look like this, except it'll just have a little tiny lightning. So this is two shapes of the ports that you're looking for. And then a third one you'll be looking for is display port, which will look like this on the back of my monitor. It'll look like that, kind of like an HDMI with this one side cut off. And then there'll be mini display port, which looks almost like a USB type B. Okay, now that you've determined that your laptop has HDMI or display port or whatever, you're going to want to make sure that your monitor has HDMI or display port or whatever. And as you can see, we have three HDMIs, one of which is 2.0, which is faster, even though it says it can only get 144 Hertz. HDMI 2.0 can get up to 1080p 240 Hertz. And then we also have display port, which display port 1.2 can also get up to 1080p 240 Hertz. So for this video, we're gonna be using HDMI. Once you have determined that your laptop and your your monitor have hdmi ports or whatever port you're using you can also get thunderbolt to hdmi or thunderbolt to display port which i think is what most cables are but once you've determined that your laptop and monitor have matching ports you're obviously going to need a cable to connect it to and as you can see here we have an hdmi 2.0 cable so obviously plug it in there get your monitors port out plug it into the fastest port which will be the biggest number on your monitor just like that so that's like literally half the process done now if it's a gaming monitor at 165 hertz or if it's just a monitor in general there's a little bit more setup you need to do but we're halfway done already in order to identify what display is which which i'm going to go out on a limb and say that your laptop's display is going to be display one and your external is going to be display two but just in case we're going to want to go to extend these displays and then click on keep changes so that it does not revert and then click on identify this will show you what display number yours are as you can see the screen that i'm recording is display two meaning my laptop's display is display one so if you're going to have your laptop off to the left over here like where my second monitor would be you're going to want display one to be over here if you're going to put your laptop off to the right where my pc is you're going to want display one to be over here that way since display one's over here if we drag the mouse to the right of this screen it's going to show up on the left of this screen and if we put display one back over here and apply it if we drag the mouse to the left of this screen it's going to show up on the right of that screen so now that we know that our external monitor is display two and our internal monitor is display one all you care about is being a pro fortnite player and you don't mind tabbing out and alt tabbing to discord and whatever go ahead and click show only on two that will disable your intel graphics and make it so that you get a little bit more cpu and a little bit more ram to be allocated to your game however if you're like me and you want to stream or you want discord open in the background etc just leave it on extend these displays and you can throw whatever else on your second monitor which would be your laptop screen now a few of you might have noticed that your monitor looks really weird and everything looks really big you know your monitor monitor's 1080p. I know mine's 1080p. It's 1080p, 165 hertz monitor. Some of you guys might have started off on 768p or 720p. For some reason, sometimes they just come from the factory like that. Most of you guys should be on the monitor's resolution to begin with, which is for me is 1920 by 1080. Yours might be 1440p. Who knows? Yours might be 768 or 720p. Just look on the box and it should tell you full HD 1920 by 1080p. And it shows me the refresh rate, which is 165 hertz. Now, once you have your display resolution correct, you're going to want to go to a advanced display settings and then obviously i just showed you my monitor 165 hertz you can see we're running at 60 hertz which is not ideal so just go ahead click on this refresh rate and then put it up to as close to the value as your monitor's refresh rate this is basically 165 hertz you're not going to see four thousands of a hertz boom and now everything looks better that actually corrected some colors because obviously the monitor is not made to run at 60 hertz it's made to run at 165 my colors were a little bit washed out but upping it to 165 fixed the issue. If you're a little bit more advanced, you might want to do that for, through the NVIDIA control panel. Everything we just did here is harder to do in the NVIDIA control panel, so there's no point in going there. So I'm not going to show that to you guys. But now you should be pretty much good to game. Your monitor should feel buttery smooth. You should be able to open up YouTube, throw it on your second screen. Obviously, you can't see that. And then you can have YouTube open and whatever watching YouTube. You can see it right here while you're playing your game on your main monitor or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean... Once you have that, your monitor's refresh rate is correct. Your monitor is where you want it. You have all your cables and stuff figured out. 
and you have your resolution and refresh rate figured out, that's pretty much it. It's actually very, very easy. It's a lot simpler than it seems. So if you guys found this video entertaining, informative, or worth watching to the end, you might as well go ahead and leave a like. And while you're down there, subscribe and leave a comment because it really does help the videos do better. You wouldn't want little Timmy out there to not know how to connect his monitor to his laptop, would you? It'll help push it out to people who have similar searches to that. And uh, then they will be able to find my video easier. It'll help it rank higher in search results, etc. It'll be easier for people to find my video to help them connect their own laptop to their monitor. If I missed anything or you have questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and comment down below. I'll make sure to get back to you on those comments as I try to respond to all of my comments. And yeah, that, that's, that's it for today, guys. Peace out.